Hi, this is Jennifer F. Charles 12, and um, I apologize I didn't do a video last week for a weigh-in. Um, I was kind of disgusted because I was almost over Wonderland. I was at 199, and this week I got it to go down a little bit to 198.4. Um, my medicine had me real groggy and... I wasn't um, filling up to doing anything. I think I did exercise on the treadmill for an hour and um, 30 minutes. And then this week, um, I, I did an hour and 15 minutes because I went back to the gym. And I was that made me feel better because I did around the world. I did 30 minutes on, 20 minutes on the treadmill then I did um, I think 10 minutes on the rolling machine then I did another 20 minutes on the spinning bike and then I did lifted weights for like another 20 or 30 minutes um, I don't know it's like um, I'm just not getting any traction and I'm just um, it's like I'm gaining more and more weight and I can't get my weight down. Um, and it's getting to a point where it's out of control. It's like I exercise, then I eat more. Then um, I'm making bad choices and I'm just um, not sticking with the, the um, diet food. And then I'm buying um, snacks and candy and stuff like that. And um, I just, I did go back. I had stopped taking the weight control from the Dollar Tree. And so I went back on that. Because like apple cider vinegar pills that are supposed to be appetite suppressants. And it's supposed to um, help you lose weight or something. But it's not really anything strong. It's just apple cider vinegar pills. And apple cider vinegar is supposed to do all these things for your for weight loss. And so I take it in a pill form. Because I used to, I tried taking it, the liquid, and it was too, it was giving me stomach problems. So then at the Dollar General, they, I mean the Dollar Tree, they had it as a, um, as a pill and so then I start taking the pill and then I had stopped taking it for some reason and I don't know if that's why I started you know gaining inches and and looking you know really large um and then it's like I haven't been able to really keep up with my exercise and my feet been bothering me um, but I switched tennis shoes because my other tennis shoes had a lot of miles on them because I had um, been taking those to the gym previously. So I switched to my red um, Nikes and they have less miles on them. And so it's like um, they're, my feet aren't hurting me as bad. But I do need to purchase some new tennis shoes. Um yeah, so I got to get it together. Um, I don't want to go over 200 pounds because I know that's going to be a huge setback. And if I can't get my weight under control when I'm at 200 pounds, then I know if I go over 200 pounds, then um, it's going to be worse for me. Um, and I, I don't know. It's like... Um, I started logging some of my calories in my fitness pal and in Weight Watchers because it's like it seems clearer to me when I when it's in my fitness pal because my fitness pal at the end of your diary you click this button and it says um, if you keep eating this way you'll be at 196 pounds so I know that my calories is too high to lose a a substantial amount of weight so I'm eating my calories is too high and um, in Weight Watchers you know it's all all these points and stuff you know 
it doesn't it doesn't tell you anything all you know is that you're going over your points but um in um my fitness pal it gives you information like if you keep eating these amounts of food you'll be at this weight and so it makes you it explains it better in my fitness pal well comment rate and su subscribe